All right, this is practice problem 3.19, and it says determine how many grams of water are produced in the oxidation of one gram of glucose, which is C6H12O6. Okay, and this is similar to practice problem 3.18. Okay, and so um, we're given the general equation, which is already balanced for us. Okay, and so if we're trying to compare um, grams of C6H12O6, and we know how many grams of water we're producing, right? Well, we're basically comparing glucose to the water, right? Which means that we have to first convert to moles, right? So the grams of C6H12O6 to moles of C6H12O6, which then we can compare to moles of H2O, which then we can convert to grams. So if we're starting out with 1.00 grams of C6H12O6, first thing is we want to convert that to moles of C6H12O6. And we're going to divide that by the molecular weight, which is 180 grams. Okay. Then we're going to multiply that. In order, at this point, we're left with moles of C6H12O6. So we can use the stoichiometric ratio, which we have for every one mole of C6H12O6, we have six moles of water. Okay, so for one mole of C6H12O6, we have six moles of H2O. And lastly, we convert from one mole of H2O divided by, or um, on the top we're going to put the molecular weight, which is 18.0 grams for H2O. Okay, so our moles there cancel, our moles there cancel, and we're left with just grams of H2O, and we get 0 0.600 grams of H2O.